Apple always draws attention when it unveils new products. Tuesday was no exception. Apple showed off two new iPhones. One is a lower cost model. It's called the 5C. Another one, the 5S, uses a fingerprint scanner instead of a password. That is raising questions about privacy. Robert Safian is the editor of Fast Company magazine. We're pleased to have him here. Welcome. Thanks. It's nice, uh, nice to be here. So how does this fingerprint work? Yeah, it's, it's interesting how whenever there's a new technology, people get anxious about it first, yeah. and they worry. Uh, I don't think there's a lot to worry about here. It's basically using your thumbprint to unlock your phone, the same way you would uh, put in digits in the, in the existing iPhones now. Why does this raise privacy concerns? Well, people are worried that uh, someone is going to steal your uh, fingerprint, steal your identity. And what Apple's done is Apple uh, is very good about making user experience good. Uh, and that your, your fingerprint remains on the phone. So if yeah, the NSA right. wants to uh, subpoena your fingerprint from Apple, Apple doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. It's or only on or the phone. Or steal your thumb. Or steal, or steal your thumb. Well, the technology is there to make sure that uh, the thumb is alive. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. Yes. How much blood it has in it or something like that's that. That's right. Uh, does this mean the end of passwords? Well, I think that's what Apple's hope is, and I think that's the direction that this will move down. And right now, you will be able to unlock your phone, and as Apple is saying it, you could immediately buy something on iTunes. The idea is that the phone eventually, this is the discussion, eventually becomes a, a real mobile wallet where you don't need your wallet at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was a top Google security executive who said yesterday that passwords are dead. This well, is the wave of the future. I mean, passwords are the annoy one of the annoyances the of our technology world, right? And this allows you to replace it with something that's not stealable, not hackable, you know, that is authenticated just to you. So do you think our computers now, for instance, will also have a fingerprint exactly. scanner on Well, it, that's yeah. what Apple is hoping. It's been tried on, on computers before. It hasn't caught on. And the question is how, how effectively this technology works. Uh, there's a story that uh, in the Wall Street Journal that uh, Apple has gotten a license for to sell on China Mobile. That's right. And this allows Apple to access the largest group of uh, phone consumers, purchasers in China. The 5C phone, their cheaper phone here is targeted really to that marketplace where the more expensive phones have been cutting them off. Robert Safian, thank you so much.